obviously, you know, thrilled to, uh, you know, to have to get into, um, you know, some, some true game pressure and some, some real, you know, second half adversity. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, felt great about, you know, the 24 assists on 30 field goals. Um, from an offensive standpoint, I thought the threes to start the second half just got some unbelievably clean looks at three that we just just kind of missed uh, and went cold in, in the second half from there. You know, obviously the disappointing things are, you know, we just, we, we, we didn't have the, you know, the disruption at the defensive end. We allowed them to, to get way too comfortable. Um, and then the rebounding thing was, uh, that rarely happens to us. So we, uh, you know, we got out of character on some, some things and, and credit, you know, credit those guys. I mean, they got, they've got some really good one-on-one -on -one players. Uh, they made some tough one-on-one -on -one shots. They made 27 field goals with six assists. So it speaks to their ability to, you know, to, to really, you know, make tough shots. You, what, we're talking about the impact of your bench, especially during that run. I think it might be Andre might have been the only starter out there. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, it's funny. We've been kind of talking to, you know, like, you know, Haas, like knowing that, you know, he could give us that and more. Um, just with, you know, with, with uh, you know, with, with, with that bulldog type of approach, and he was just a disruptor out there. He really changed the tenor, um, you know, in terms of getting after, you know, their guards and creating some havoc. And obviously, Joey, from an offensive standpoint, I took Donovan there. It's just great to see a guy with, um, even though his numbers weren't great, he, you know, he bothered some things, and obviously his mouth looked strange with all the blood. Um, but yeah, I mean those those three guys I thought were, were the difference in that in that stretch. It was good to be in some huddles where you know where, where there was a little soul searching and some some character uh, reached out deep stuff there. Question, David, did, did you learn anything about anybody in particular? You, you, you said the beauty of this team is it couldn't be anybody any night, and it was kind of maybe guys you wouldn't expect tonight. It's not the way they did. Yeah, I mean, listen, I thought we, we, we played, couldn't have played worse on the backboard, couldn't have, you know, did a worse job at the defensive end of the court. Um, you know, and, and you know, we, we we had to reach down deep and we felt we dealt with the second half deficit. Um, we proved we're not front runners and, um, and still ended up winning the game at double figures, a conference game at home. Um, you know, you look at them and and the five and seven coming into the game, and you know, just tells you how tough you know the league is, how tough college basketball is. They got some really talented you know players there. The starting five is really, really a talented group. I mean, I know you figured Joey could come in and contribute for you guys. I mean, has he surprised you a little bit? I mean, he seems so relaxed out there when things weren't going well, and obviously made some huge plays. Yeah, you know, Joey's got the. Uh, yeah, he just—he's got a high level of self-belief. I mean, he wants—he wants in, and uh, he's not afraid to, uh, you know, to take important shots. And, and he's got certainly a knack, and obviously, you know, it helps him that he's, you know, that, that he's playing with good players that, you know, put him put him in in, in really, you know, I think, ideal positions. You know, again, 24 assists on 30 field goals. Um, and some high-level stuff from the offensive. Uh, end of the court, um, the, the, the defensive rebounding. Uh, it's, uh, it's just great for us to happen to us because we did get away from our identity today. You know, we realized in the first half that we could score easily, and, and we got we got we got dragged into um, that human nature complacency thing. Yeah, and for Andre tonight, only eight points, but he seemed to control the game in so many other ways, especially in that run. The ball the court. How critical is his performance there? Yeah, I mean, he, uh, you know, obviously the discrepancy, we weren't sure if he got his fourth foul. They called it on him, but then they, I didn't know what was going on there. We could ill afford to get him off the court, you know, because it's you know, just, you know, he's, uh, there's, just, there's no one that defends like him in the country. He's a completely different type of weapon at that defensive end. No one does in the country what he does at that end. Um, you know, and he took, you know, today could have potentially even been like a triple-double game for him. He had the lob versus the zone that he,
kind of bobbled it. You know, he had the baseline cut when Adama found him, where he stepped out of bounds. You know, I think he had other opportunities to, you know, to get maybe close to a triple double today. That's how good he was. Did you like the thirty threes? I mean, you said you got good looks, right? These guys were wide open. I mean, it was it was hard. I mean, we weren't. I mean, first half. I don't know what we were with nine for nine for fourteen in the first half. Nine for I don't even know what it was. I mean, but the, the threes were wide open. I mean, it's, it's tough. I mean, it, you know, the Jordans were as clean as the first half. Um, I mean, if, if he has just a, a pretty good shooting game, he probably ends five for nine for three. I mean, Alex, you know, got some great looks in the second half too. And, and um, I thought maybe, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe one or two of those were good ones. But I mean, it's a wide open and in rhythm. Does a game like this come at a good time? Because when you return from the, the break, you've got some pretty tough games. Yeah, I mean, it, this gives me some ammunition um, in, 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 in really, um, you know, getting to our identity, you know, from a defense. Then that rebounding situation, you know, um, you're thrilled to win again. You, know, you win by double figures in a home conference game. And we've set such a standard of how we've just kind of obliterated people that, um, it just allows me to get to that messaging of, you know, if we, if, we, if, if we slip even a tick off of our identity, the defense, the rebounding, the domination on the backboard, the, the, the elite defense, things un unravel. Things will start to unravel, and things started to unravel today uh, until we showed uh, the, our character. Sam? Thanks. Hi. Uh, it's a great win. Uh, you talked about how various for you Team get a rebound. Can you tell me how the Huskies were able to overcome something you guys aren't used to seeing the final box score? Yeah, um, yeah I, I, obviously, we, you know, we played well offensively, um, you know, and, and then the, the, the defense, you know, in the, in the last 10 minutes, eight minutes, you know, when it was time for us to decide um, how we wanted the field going into the holidays, you know, you can't afford to lose a home game like this today, um, you know, and, and, and win the regular season, uh, uh, Big East Championship. Losing a game like this at home comes back to get you in, in late February and March, and, um, and we responded. From an opposing coach's view, uh, Primo looks like he's gonna be, gonna be a problem for other teams moving forward. Just talk about what he brought to the, to the table for them tonight. Yeah, I mean, really, I mean, it's really tough shot making. I mean, you know, um, you know, he, he made some incredibly tough twos. You know, he's really hard to deal with, um, you know, as a, as a, as a scorer. Um, I thought we forced him into tough shots. Um, you know, the first one he got some easy at the rim early. He might have gotten another paint, too. I mean, um, but in the end, um, you know, he took, he took 17 shots. And, um, you know, and he, he scored 19 points on, on the 17 shots. And we just want him to be tough twos, and that's about the best I think you can guard him because he's a really tough shot maker. One more day. Just uh, was it just a matter of magic words with on you and, and Andre with those technicals, or? Yeah, I mean, I just felt like um, when Adama threw the pass underneath the basket, he was at the foul line, and um, you know there was a lot of talking. In, in the game, I understand what, what Brian was doing because I, I, Andre was teetering, and you know I just uh, we we can't devolve myself, you know Andre, we, 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 you know we, we can't devolve. We, we, we've got too much quality as a team to get so emotional during the game, and you know there's a difference between passion and, 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 and emotion. We need to keep our poise better. Um, you know, I did drop the magic word, and, but it was more of just a, just a, just saying that word. You know, I didn't say it in direction. It just kind of went out into the air. And I don't know what I'm just <laughs> football. I mean, uh, unbelievable uh, to do what Jim did with, with that program. I've been here watching that football program. Uh, you know. Um, Kind of like in a, in a parallel way, you know, try, like uh, having to rebuild the program. For him to get them to a ball game in, in year one is incredible. 
uh, and they need, they deserve every type of support, right? Both from a fan base and from a resource standpoint. You know, because you could build something special with that program because you got a guy that, that is a special coach.